The trailer for the 2024 edition of Roadhouse has finally dropped, and it looks like a crowd pleaser. So why is it only going to Amazon's streaming platform and not theaters? In 1989, Patrick Swayze stepped into the shoes of James Dalton, a bouncer who protects the little town from the various capitalists in Roadhouse. The film quickly found an audience and has achieved cult-like status. Pain don't hurt. In 2021, Edge of Tomorrow director Doug Liman signed on to remake the film with a contemporary take, and that film has finally come to fruition. In the trailer, Jake Gyllenhaal's Elwood Dalton is a down-on-his-luck ex-UFC fighter whose glory days are behind him. He's given the opportunity to be a bouncer at a Florida Keys roadhouse, and of course, a simple gig turns chaotic. Soon, a businessman attempts to transform the watering hole into a resort, leading to former UFC champion Conor McGregor's character going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dalton. From lush vision Visuals to hard-hitting action sequences, Roadhouse looks like an absolute knockout for Lyman and Gyllenhaal. A day before the trailer for Roadhouse debuted, Lyman, a proven hitmaker in Hollywood, highlighted his grievances with Amazon Studios for not giving the film a theatrical release. So why isn't Prime Video sending the film to cinemas like Ben Affleck's Air? In a guest column for Deadline, the director argued that the decision was likely due to an algorithm that cares more about, quote, selling toasters than supporting movie theaters or creative artists. In early March, the film will premiere at the South by Southwest Film Festival. But Lyman wrote that he won't attend the event. He added, The facts. I signed up to make a theatrical motion picture for MGM. Amazon bought MGM. Amazon said make a great film, and we'll see what happens. I made a great film. Lyman also wrote that execs widely praised Roadhouse and labeled it as a smash hit, highlighting the film's highly positive test scores. But even with the film's acclaim, Amazon isn't choosing to bank on the film's financial viability with a theatrical rollout, nor allow him to sell to another studio that would financially support a marketer theatrical release. Lyman wrote, If we don't put tentpole movies in movie theaters, there won't be movie theaters in the future. Amazon asked me and the film community to trust them and their public statements about supporting cinemas. And then they turned around and are using Roadhouse to sell plumbing fixtures. The director also contended that a straight-to-streaming release deprives Gyllenhaal of glory once awards season comes around too. A bummer, considering Lyman called this a career-defining role for the star. No one ever wins a fight. One can't help but feel sympathetic for Lyman and Gyllenhaal in this scenario especially after Amazon Studios promised that they'd put a billion dollars into theatrical motion pictures after buying MGM Studios. Lyman signed up to make a theatrical picture, and now he feels that Amazon shafted him. The trailer for the remake is genuinely impressive, and Lyman has the receipts to back up the praise the film received from execs. If Roadhouse was given a theatrical release, it's honestly not hard to imagine it making a pretty penny at the box office like another MGM release. The Beekeeper, which is on track to gross more than $85 million by the end of its theatrical run. To its further credit, Roadhouse has significant ties to the globally popular UFC. The film was shot at the UFC event and features several iconic fighters, including McGregor. Over 1.5 billion UFC fans have engaged with posts about the release of Roadhouse on social media too. If marketed well to UFC and action movie fans, Roadhouse could have made a killing at the box office. Alas, the 2024 take on Roadhouse will stream on Prime Video starting March 21st, unless that changes.